Hey, what's up friends? Welcome back to the Trifecta Handgun YouTube channel. This video is going to be different. I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's recap where we started off with this gun. I bought it back in December as a gun to hunt with. It's a defense pistol. Of course, you know by the title, it is the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 in 10 millimeter. We've talked a lot about it. I'm not a gun reviewer, so if you want that type of information, watch guys shoot 15 yard steel. This is not the channel for that. I'm more interested in whether I can hunt with this $600 polymer four inch barreled pistol. And the first video I made, I said it had to do three things. I have to get 50 yard accuracy. That's, that's a no brainer. If I can't get the gun to shoot to 50 yards, then I might as well take my bow because I know I can get good 50 yard accuracy shooting with my bow. It's not as easy as shooting a gun. It's, you know, there's a lot more, uh, footprint, so to speak, drawing it back and, and all that. But I'm going to take my bow if I can't get 50 yard accuracy over this gun. So the second thing, it had to be easy, fast and easy to reload for. I don't want to have to trickle up every single charge weight to get it exact. I want to be able to go to the bench, reload 50 rounds, go out and have some fun, shoot steel with it, shoot long range, whatever. I don't want to take a lot of time like I do with my other rounds. The third thing is it has to be relatively inexpensive to reload for this gun. I don't want to have to use hunting type bullets to get accuracy with. I either want to use lead or in this case, I'm using the uh, Hornady HAP, which is, I call them HAPs. They're supposed to be uh, identical to the XTPs, the hunting round, I guess, but uh, quite a bit cheaper to buy. They don't have the uh, serrations in them. So it is inexpensive or rel relatively inexpensive to shoot this gun. So why is this video different? So you really need to go back to the other videos and kind of see how the story plays out. But in the last video with a charge weight of 13.3 grains of accurate number nine, I got that group. There's four in there and one there. That's at 25 yards. So I was pretty stoked about that. That was my best group. The other ones weren't quite as good. Go back and watch it if you want to see what the other groups look like. So I took a little break and I look a little different in the camera, I think, like it's a little darker because the sun's going down. Over on this side, over here, I have a, a large sliding glass window and over here I have my studio lights. So obviously they're still the same, but this side's different because it's getting darker. I said things are going to be different in this video and here's what I'm talking about when I say that. It was a complete disaster. Let me set this up for you. I'm on my way over to the range. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to take uh, a tenth of a grain difference. Uh, so I'm going to go 13.4 and 13.2. Since my 13.3 round produced that. So what I was supposed to do when I got here in my head was shoot at 25 yards. But on the way over here, I was like, man, what if I just go out to 50? Well, my 50 is actually 60. That's where my backstop is. I could put a target at 50, but I didn't. I was like, let's go to 60. Let's just max it out. Let's have some fun today. It was a disaster. It was a complete disaster. Let's go to the bench and I'll show you what I mean. So this is our first group. And as you can see by looking at it, it's about a two and a half inch three shot group, right? There's the uh, two and a half mark right there. So it's about a perfect two and a half inch group. The problem is what? I shot five times. You see one, two, three. This was my first one. So I shot this, I walked up and looked at the target. I'm like, okay, right on close. That's all I, all I care about. That's 60 yards close. So I don't know the order 
of, of what happened here. But I'll want you to see this one almost off the paper up here. That would be six and a half inches roughly off the center of this target. Not good. And the fifth one was even higher yet. I took this target back and I, I was like, okay, um, what do I do with that? It's, it's terrible. But I got three good ones. So let's move on. Let's keep going here. That's 13.2 grains. Remember, we're going up in a tenth of a grain every time. So 13.3. Remember, this was our good one at 25 yards, 13.3. So we should have good results this time. But what do you do with that? So I walked up to it and I was obviously uh, very disappointed. I couldn't figure it out. Now I'm gonna tell you one anomaly I had with this particular group is I had a light primer strike. It did not go off. I put the bullet back into the gun and fired it again. So I don't know which one of these holes was the light pr primer strike. Maybe it was one of the good ones or maybe it was one of these, these real outliers here. So I was disappointed, but I thought, you know, what if I took this and put it up here with this group? Now let's take a, a measurement here and see how far we are apart. It's about three and three quarters inches between this hole and this hole. If you could take this one and put it in with this group somewhere, that would be really good. I'd be very satisfied with that. The fact that we have kind of this big spread here is really kind of disappointing to me. Let's keep moving on to the last target. This is 13.4. Once again, Two of them right in the mix there, right in the in the black area. This is only about two, two and a half inch target. And that would be really good. But what happened to the other three shots? I really don't know. Now I did have an anomaly on this one. And I can tell you what happened with that one. I, I had a failure to feed, or actually the slide just didn't close all the way on me. So I tried to work the slide, pull it backwards, to get the round out, I wanted to take a look at it. I could not get the round to eject. It was jammed in there. I kept trying, I kept trying. And uh, so you kind of get a little uneasy when you're working a gun like this because it doesn't have a safety on it. And you know, I had my hand off the trigger obviously, but I could not get it to open up. So I ended up smashing it in and I shot that one into the dirt. So that does not count, but we are still missing two rounds that did not even make the paper. So uh, very disappointing, but let's try to take some bright stuff out of this. Let's see if we can find something to work with the next time we go out. So if I just take my 13.2 and my 13.4, the rounds that did hit the paper were actually pretty good. You know, that'd be a very, a very satisfactory 50 yard group. The problem is we have to figure out what happened to the other rounds. So to be honest with you guys, I, I contemplated not making this video because I thought, are they really going to get any information from this? And I let it sit for like a week before I came back today. And I was like, you know what? I have to be honest. This is a process. I'm going through a process. If I cheat the process by not talking about part of it, it's not really honest to me. It's not really honest to you guys. But in my heart, I really didn't want to make this video. I'll be honest with you. So where do we go from here? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is make 15 rounds of 13.3, which was our superb group the last time. And if we can take one of those bullets out in this group and put it 
in a different spot on the paper, it would have been a pretty decent group this time. So I think all in all, 13.3 is a good group. I'm going to go back through. I'm going to make 15 more rounds. I'm going to come back to 20 yards with at least five of those shots to see if I can come close to what I did in the last video. The other 10 shots, I'm not really sure yet, but I think coming back to 25 yards is going to at least give us some sort of verification whether we can mimic that last group or not. And then uh, I want to take it back out to maybe 50 yards this time, the, the max I said I was going to go to. Maybe we're going to go to 50 yards. I don't know what I'm going to do with those rounds yet. I have 10 rounds that, that I'm going to take to 50. Assuming that the first uh, five rounds at 25 yards perform well, we're going to go to 50. If they don't, then I'm probably going to assume there's something going on with the gun. Uh, I checked the rest here. Everything's sturdy on the rest. So there's nothing there. I went through everything, the trigger guard guide wheel, the connection here to the to my tripod. I don't know if you guys can see that. I guess you can. Uh, but everything is tight. So everything was good here. Um, all I can think of is something went wrong with the gun. So we'll try to verify that on the next one. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Thank you.